Okay, here is the compound microscope we're going to be using for our lab this week. Up here at the top, this is the eyepiece. This is what you're going to look through. It has a magnification of 10x. You'll see that here on the lens. Over here is what we call the arm of the microscope. That's what you'll hold on to while you're transporting it. Here is our course adjustment. What you can see, it moves this, what we call the stage up and down in order to get things into view. And then the smaller knob down here is called the fine adjustment. And when you move the fine adjustment, it moves the stage just a little tiny bit at a time. This specific compound light microscope, okay, here has what we call these stage clips. And it has three different objective lenses. It has low power, which is the shortest. It has medium power, which is a little bit stronger. And then it has the high power objective lens. When you prepare your slide, you are then going to take your slide and put it on the microscope stage right here. You're going to make sure you turn on the light. You need light shining through. And you are going to secure it with the stage clips. You are always going to start off trying to find something in the microscope under low power. Low power is the shortest one here. It has a magnification of four. You'll use the course adjustment in order to bring the stage up and down to get things into view. Once you get it into view, then if you'd like to flip to medium power, you're able to do that. And under medium power, you no longer want to use the course adjustment. You now want to use the fine adjustment knob, and it will move the stage ever so slightly. Again, trying to get it into as clear a view as possible. Once you get as clear as possible, then you can go to high power objective if you like. Again, in high power, you are never using the course adjustment. You can see just how close that objective lens is. Um, and imagine a microscope slide being right here. Okay, so you don't want to move that one. It'll move it way too much. So you just want to use the fine adjustment in order to, to get it into good view. Also notice that the eyepiece up at the top, it does rotate. So if you find something really cool under the microscope, you'd like someone else to look at, you don't have to move your entire microscope. The eyepiece can just move so that others can view it. Now, in terms of magnification, a couple of things here. Um, how do you actually know um, how much the image is magnified when you're looking at it through the microscope? Well, first off, remember we said that the eyepiece has a magnification of 10x. Okay, if you're under low power, which again is the shortest objective lens, it has a magnification of 4x. So you multiply those two numbers together, and if you're looking at it under the low power objective lens, you're looking at something that's been magnified 40 times its original size. Same thing with the medium. Let's say we switch to medium power. Eyepiece is still 10. This time the magnification on that objective lens is 10. Now you're looking at something that is magnified 100 times its original size. The high power objective lens, again, eyepiece 10, multiply it times what the objective is on the objective lens. You'll see there'll be a number with an X behind it. You'll be able to figure out how much that object has been blown up. 